Cooper Cup of the Los Angeles Rams injures his right ankle in today's game. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Stephen Wilson and this channel is designed for the understanding of sports injuries. We'll go right to the replay here. On this play, we see Cooper Cup blocking a defender on the left side of the offensive line with the toss running play also going to the left side. When making his block here, we can see Cooper kind of, uh, he gets turned around and then his teammate actually steps on the right ankle in, in a sort of friendly fire accident here. When we look closer at Cup's right ankle, we can see how his ankle turns with the underside or plantar surface of his foot facing inwards in an inversion position. This automatically will stress his right ankle, which is of course a hinge joint that doesn't like to roll quite that far. But what I want to look at more closely here is where exactly his teammate steps on his foot. See how his teammate's foot actually comes down on Cup's foot at around his heel bone or calcaneus here. This is important and I'll tell you why in a second here. Let's say perhaps that his teammate's foot came down further out onto his foot, let's say around his toe area. This would cause a longer lever or moment arm from the point of impact where his ankle is located. This would create an effect kind of like ringing out a dish clock effect on his foot. Of course injury can occur anywhere along that distance, but the moment of force would then be less upon his ankle. But that's not the scenario that occurred here. What happened was that his teammate stepped on the inside of his heel, therefore creating a shorter lever or moment arm in relation to his ankle. What this means is that there will be greater stress upon Cooper Cup's ankle because of where his teammate's foot landed. When we look at the anatomy model here, we can orient ourselves with the shin bone, which is your tibia and your fibula right beside it, and your talus bone underneath it. You can also see the connective ligaments on the outside of your ankle. Any inversion movement will cause the talus bone to tilt and stress these ligaments here, which would cause an ankle sprain to the anterior talofibular ligament. A high ankle sprain can also occur, which would affect the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, or the posterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, and of course the syndesmosis. We'll just call those the high ankle sprain ligaments. A bone fracture would also have to be ruled out as well. Going back to the replay here, we see how Cooper's right ankle gets turned into inversion, which will cause stress to his outside ankle ligaments. Ankle bruising is probable, but a sprain is a given, and team personnel will have to determine exactly to what extent. Stay well.